हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल हैव यू सीन द वीडियो क्लिप दैट आई हैव सीन यू बिफोर इन द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ दिस वीडियो सो वॉट डिड यू गेट फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो दैट वीडियो विल यू एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से प्रोबेबली नॉट बिकॉज आई यू आर नॉट एबल टू हेयर वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से और एक्सप्रेस और मे बी यू कैन मेक गेसेज वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से यू कैन से दैट मैम यू मे बी सेंग दैट और यू मैम यू मे बी सेंग दिस बट यू डू नॉट नो एग्जैक्टली वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इज इंटेड बट सो वॉट इज नीडेड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आई एम सेंग डेफिनेटली इट इज या इट इज लैंग्वेज वॉट इट इज लैंग्वेज so today in this class of yours we are going to learn or read and enjoy a very beautiful poem on language in this the poet's language is english so he has beautifully explained the importance of the language and its use and why it is necessary for overall development of your personality let us continue with that so today's poem name is so um now it na um it's bad but i learned that we should not call it a poem it's a poem so let we will i will also make habit of calling it poem as i have the habit of calling it a poem it is uh, the correct pronunciation is poem i lately known it was come it came late to me so Let's continue with the poem, and the name of the poem is "The Wonderful Words." The wonderful words. You already know the meaning of wonderful. It is very important before we start the poem. Yes, wonderful means something very good. something very nice it is known as wonderful so here we come with our poem first we will start with the first stanza of it and it goes like never let a thought shrivel and die for want of a way to say it for english is a wonderful game and all of you can play it all that you do is match the words to the brightest thought in your head so they so that they come out clear and true and handsomely groomed and fit for many of the loveliest things have never yet been said words are the food and dress of thoughts they give its body they give it its body and swing and everyone's longing today to hear some fresh and beautiful things but words can free a thought for from its prison behind your eyes from its prisons behind your eyes and maybe your mind is holding now a marvelous new surprise so it is a very nice poem written by the our poet and let's just hear about it we will first understand in this part of the video we will understand the first stanza of the poem which goes like never let a thought shrivel what is the meaning of shrivel shrivel we got this word shrivel here the meaning of shrivel is shrink something we com- when we compressed something shrink s h i s h r i n k shrink means to s- compress something and die never let a thought shrivel and die for want of for want of a way to say it second line goes for a for want of a way to say it you should not never you should never let your thought die just because of the way 
you do not aware of the way how should i express my thought how should i express uh, what words should be chosen when i am going to express my thought so you should never let your thought shrink you know you just let it go let it be i am i am unable to understand how should i say this so let it be so you should never do that for english is a wonderful game as we are learning english so here we have you can also write your own poem you can also create your own poem in which you you can uh, appreciate your own language it is not important that you are supposed to appreciate the english language it is just a medium that we are learning here in the class so we are using it but if you want you can even even um, create a poem for your own language so here we have uh, some few uh, few uh, appreciations for the for the poet's language which is english for english is a wonderful game and all of you can play it and all of you can play it now here what the poet wants to say that english is a wonderful game what is the meaning of wonderful wonderful i have already told you something which is good hai na so it is a good game uh, that you can uh, play to have a good command of your over your language it will help you to think as well as speak your thoughts skillfully so we should uh, poet what poet wants to say that we all have a mother tongue so we must have good command over it likewise whatever may maybe this is a, a mother tongue of the poet so he want uh, the command over it so he just want that whether it is english whether your english mother tongue is hindi punjabi what what whatever goes with you but you should have a command over it you should never not let any idea go or just fade because we don't know the right words for it rather conscious effort should be made to find new words to express it clearly to express to express clearly clearly usko express karne ke liye we should keep on making efforts we should keep on making efforts to express our thought nicely so english is a wonderful and rich language one can express one thoughts in this language without any hassles clearly and flawlessly so you understood the first stanza this this was the first stanza of the poem we did this much part of the poem in this part of video now i am going to ask you some questions here they goes so tell me and this is the group activity so you have to find a partner for this and you have to complete the poem uh, so let's start with the first one do not let a thought shrivel and die because now you have to fill it here do not let your thought die and shrivel because so here goes the answer because of lack of understanding understanding because of the understanding of a language of a of a language correct very nice good effort now let us do the second part so here comes the second part english is a dash with words that everyone can play so here what would what is the answer very nice so english is a rich language english is a rich language with words that everyone can play superb you all did a very good job thank you we'll meet you soon Bye bye